Right, so the reason why we have so few troops is because everyone hates us so much. Barely anyone is willing to contribute any troops. Or they even can't because they're still... Oh no, we're over our vassal limit. That's why we can't have troops from our vassals. That's why we're so weak. Right, okay. People, I want to get rid of them. I want to give them away. Just allow me to give them to anyone. Really, just let me give them to anybody. Just let me give them away again. I should have just let them all be in prison. So they're not going to allow me to do it because everyone hates me. And everyone hates me because I can't do the things that I need to do. So they just stop hating me. They are 100% going to declare. It's just... No question about it. Can't do anything here. Oh god. We are in such an absolutely awful position. And we're so young. Okay, let's just await the next uh, rebellion to pop up. Who knows how they might change. We're not going to be able to sway anyone here with gifts. No one, because we... Even if we gave them money, it's just too little. You need to push them over like 60 or 80 for them to drop out of factions. Great, and you've come to loot and pillage, eh? I think this guy is trying to factionize, is he? Yeah, it's him. So maybe we can kill him in this battle here. That would be great. Come on, get... Get killed. All right, into the next rebellion we go. And we will call in our vassal, uh, not our vassal, our, our ally. The issue is there's still dangerous factions there. They're still going to come. That's not a question. But do we have any troops down here? Nothing. So all our troops are here. How many troops are we facing, really? And we only count the ones that have these colors. These don't count. These are not going to move against us. These are just some weird armies that these people have, so... Well, it says 22,000. Right now I count more like... Uh, let's say this is 800. On a Welsh Revolt army. That's 7... Th that's 8,000. That's another 8,000. Okay. So these count. So they have 22,000. We have... 8,000. So what we need... Is mercenaries again. Let's check this. Who are you contract with? Somewhere. Cons Castellon. So what we need is around 8,000 again. And... We might go with the Swiss company again, but they're very costly for upkeep. Maybe we can this time go for something less expensive like the Scottish band. 
does make a difference, money-wise. So either the, uh, the Irish band is just too weak. Their composition isn't right. They have lots of archers and light infantry, but that's not the right thing we need. We need heavy infantry. So either the Sardinian company or... Or the Scottish band. These are 49 and these are... Uh, let's get the Scottish band. God help us. Okay, Bulgaria is coming. But that doesn't actually mean anything much until they're actually here. So we'll do this again, like we did with the last rebellion. Okay, let us... Let us wait fishing. We've become willful. Oh, we need to destroy them here. Going to be bad. Real bad. I don't see them coming yet. I believe they're just sieging down there, so we might have to go to them. Alright then. How many fleets... And we get only ours. Oh god, no. So we're not even going to be able... Well, we might be able. Just need to get them over once. Alright. Let's get them here. Let's get them here. And we're going to borrow money... can borrow both from the Jews and the Templars and the Hospitalers. Oh no, we can donate to them. Temple vassals are going to hate it, but oh well. Can you do, right? Oof. This is very stressful. I dare say. Center leader goes center. Let's see if we can't afford our ships to actually ferry over. Oh no, that's not even enough ships. We do need our vassal ships here as well. So we'll land over here. Uh, land on our ships. And immediately attack because we really have no choice but to do it. Even though we have less morale. The amount of troops should hopefully give us victory and there's no negative modifiers all that much so... Hmm. Might work out. Oh no, there's 12,000 coming. Nope, that was the bad move. Oh no. Well, one of their flanks broke. Another flank broke. One of ours is faltering. Crazy. We actually won it. 
We actually won this. No two white piece. Okay, let's let's borrow some money. Uh, let's get. How much do we owe you after? Okay, if we borrow from our own, we only owe the exact amount that we borrow. So we'll borrow it. Also, interestingly enough, quite historically accurate. The Templars, not just the Knights Templar, but also a bunch of other holy orders, became quite prolific um, bankers, more or less. They, they held most of the wealth of the Crusader states. Due to, their, due to them being as connected as they are. Oh, they're going there. Catch them. We're slow though. There they are. Wait. Can we do without the river crossing? Dijon, Macron. Okay, we can go from here. So if we go like that, we catch them without crossing a river. We can see we're hemorrhaging money. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. All of their flanks broke. That of ours. White piece? White piece. Stand on our troops immediately. Not ideal, but it's the best I can do right now. Uh, that's me. So this is the next one. We do not have the money to deal with this. Eventually, we're going to lose against one of these. There's just nothing we can do. Not a single thing we can do. We're not gaining money because everyone hates us so much they're not paying their taxes. Uh, we are the weakest of the week right now. Can't get... Anyone excommunicated? Sadly. There's nothing we can do. This is such a frustrating situation right now. We are in a terrible bind. Nothing we can do. Our council will not allow us to do what we need to do. Let us give away titles, please. Only one friend, and that's just not... Well, we made our bed, now we shall lie in it. I think this is a very nice exercise in uh, taking responsibility for your choices, right? I made these choices. All my fault. So if this is our downfall now, it is most definitely my fault. I mean, I could just go ahead and... Destroy the title of France. Could just do that. Upset everyone even more. Not like they can really reasonably hate me more than they already do. We already called in the Bulgarians once, so they're probably not too happy and might not come in another war again, unless six years or something. And we are still very, very young. There's going to be several more um revolts against us i 
Are you in one of those factions? No, you hate us and you're not even in a faction. E. Which one is the strongest? Bye. Not going to help us. Make him a commander. And we'll make him the commander of this. Where he has a chance to die, at least. Oh, cool. Someone called in a favor to join all our factions. So we have all these various people going for various kingdom titles that we hold. In four years, some of those negative modifiers are going to go away. This, we will never finish. I have a feeling we'll never ever get to finish this one. Never. It's just not going to happen. This is what it feels right now. Ah, man. But we gotta stay positive. Deal with the rules as they roll on and in. Oh, we could do a summer fair. How much does it cost us? 25 gold. Yeah, and that's exactly the amount of gold that's going to be missing. Going to be missing. When we are attacked. No one is allowing us to raise ships. We can't even bring our retinues home. I'll just let them stand there. Maybe they get killed. Well, at least there's only one faction over 100% anymore, so that's nice, isn't it? That's something. I could try and give out artifacts. Which are pretty strong. Uh, but... It's just not enough. I don't have enough artifacts to appease these people. I really just don't have that. I don't have family members to give away to anyone. Knights of Malta. Okay, let's break that betrothal and find someone else. Anyone to help us. Thousands. See? Nope. Nothing. Maybe with your strongest vassals? Realm tree? Okay, okay, there are some potential matches here. Question is, will it also yield us an alliance? Come on, consider quicker. Oh yes, good. Okay, that way we get at least a halfway close-ish alliance here. With someone else to potentially help us. If push comes to shove.
Go and collect taxes. They might just press it, but I think the alliances that we just formed might hold them off for a little bit. Sadly, we made the mistake to go for an internal alliance with that sister. Well, our mother, really. Not, not us. We didn't make that mistake. Okay, we need a new steward. Let's go by this. Incapable anyway. Let's see. Who's in a dangerous faction? Her. Let's make her our steward because she's so bad at it. There's a 20% chance that she's going to be attacked by peasants as she does her job. Alright, now we have two dangerous factions again. Okay, I think I need to give him a position on the council. I need to get rid of this man. Which one of you is it that joined there? Guy. Okay, let's send him somewhere where he might be discovered and killed. So we send him into the Holy Roman Empire. Or he might be imprisoned or something. He's not good at it. Oh, now why are you in a revolt? You can't be in a revolt. Hey, this is... I swear, I'm on edge here. Continually. I'm just watching these, trying to do all the things that I can think of, that I can do as a child ruler. You know what? We're going to hold a feast. And all our vassals will be there. There's a chance. This is just a tiny chance. But maybe spending a little bit of money might help us here. Okay, we'll make some existing re recipes because we have a decent cookbook in our treasury. That's funny. That I like that. That's cool. So, one of our forefathers wrote that book. Let's send out the invitations. And it seems like nobody... will be coming. That's going to be a sad feast. Welcome to my feast. Did even anyone come? Okay, yeah, this guy came. The King Tudors might become charitable or gregarious as we approve of the... Uh, yeah, we'll repair the relationship with the faraway kingdom of Bulgaria oh lovely the duchess more that is actually on our side insulted us you go in the oubliette everyone goes in the oubliette okay so people did enjoy our feast so some of them have a little bit of a higher opinion of us now God, Bulgaria dropped out of the alliance. That's bad. And there we go. There we go. Do we even have a cross section between these two? No, so we might be facing two at the same time. Should we just give them France? Should we just give them France?
I don't think I can hold this together. I will give them France. I do not have a choice, it's just the truth. Now they are 3,650% of our strength. Um, yeah, I, d I, d I didn't have a choice. To be quite honest, I just did not have a choice here. I could have tried to fight this one and the next one and the next one and the next one, but it wouldn't would have been a never-ending cycle of uh, trying to break out of this. And I do believe we have a claim, a strong claim. So it will be inherited by our successor. We can try again later, but for now we need to consolidate power out here. I've never taken this long to actually form a semblance. Oh no. How did you get this? This is mine. Are you kidding? This is very unfair. This is deeply unfair. But at least now we can get ships again. To bring home our retinues. Alright, let's check out our council. A steward wishes to be appointed. We'll go by rank. This guy probably going to get attacked by rebels. This annoys me. Of all the things that just happened, this is the one that annoys me. I'm alright with giving up a kingdom title. I am not alright giving up something that is mine. And this is mine. But my chancellors don't agree with us uh, going to war with France over it. Right. And such is medieval life. It's difficult sometimes. We, I think we tried the most things that we could have done. We'll soldier on, troop forward and we'll see how and where things take us. Maybe we should get rid of these guys at some point as well. They are quite strong. Not as strong as us. Finally, our vassals are back to contributing troops and whatnot. Can we give titles out as well? No, people still hate us. Oh, well. We tried. We tried really hard. And we're probably going to have a lot of uh, duchy titles usurped from us very soon. If they can afford it, that is. Oh well. We could break up all these and... and now we can't do anything like that. Ah. Uh, this one. I will have terrible, terrible dreams of this one. But I have an idea. What we're going to do is... Actually, we're going to work towards creating an empire. And I believe the one that we're going to go for is actually the empire of britannia so this is our next goal we're going to try and create the empire of britannia and then we will adopt imperial uh rulership no what is it called uh administration and then we will try and deal with this with viceroy titles i think this is the the best the best way going forward because holding several kingdom titles just doesn't cut it.